the constellation method has a gift in it that allows us to see that whatever has happened, whoever is in our family web, no matter what, who, where we come from, we all belong. I've been a psychotherapist since 1992. I have a master's in social work and am a licensed clinical social worker. Um, I've had a private psychotherapy practice for many years, but in 1998, I was introduced to what's called systemic family constellations. So since then, um, the constellation work has been the primary way in which I work with both individuals and groups. The constellation method offers us a way to access family and ancestry in an embodied experiential way where we can restore a sense of um, belonging and wellness and alignment with life that the resource of psychotherapy doesn't nor has it been designed really to offer and so what happens in a constellation experience, whether it's in a group experience or one-on-one, -on -one, is it allows a person to access who and where they come from in a way that supports them being in life while in connection with family. We have this language that we live with today in American culture that says family is dysfunctional, there's a uh, toxic nature to it. We have a lot of language from the addiction field, codependence. There's a way in which while language can offer us some things, it also can have an effect toward disconnecting us from the web of family that's in us that really is what we most need to support us living well. The constellation method has a gift in it um, that allows us to see that whatever has happened, whoever is in our family web, no matter what they did, no matter who they are, they belong. This promotes clarity that we too belong. And so we have the opportunity to see how deeply this need to belong drives us as a species. It's our first need is to belong. Belonging happens in the group experience. Family is our first group we belong to. <laughs> Through our American experience, there have been many ways in which there has been a disruption of belonging in our family groups. And so this time we live in today, what I see is that the group experience offers us most profoundly what we need, which is a chance to see, again, that no matter what, who, where we come from, we all belong. The process of setting up a constellation, how this goes, is that a person sits next to me and we have a brief conversation about whatever the issue is. Health issue, love life, work, family difficulty, this kind of a thing. And I ask a few questions about family history. It's not about the story. It's about being with the um, resonance together of what wants to come into visibility. So for me, this movement of setting up a constellation where a person then is asked to pick people from this circle, would you be my mother, my father, and me? Or would you be me, my husband, my daughter, or my grandma, my grandpa, my mom, and me? Something like this. When the representatives are physically placed here in the setting, it's like taking a corner of the hologram of family that's housed in our body and placing it here in 3D form. The constellation method promotes more freedom for us to live well. What's our fates? 
promotes more clarity about us being able to see our children and our grandchildren more clearly and to be seen by the people who pass life on to us. It will be a way for us to access the truths that have been waiting to be acknowledged, the truths that have been waiting to be honored. 